welcome to a new video i hope you are all staying safe and healthy and today's video is a little different but i hope that we can all do our part to spread some positivity and help each other out in this difficult time so as we are at home i thought i'd make a list of things to do when you're bored but also just to give yourself a little breather from it all so before i get on with the list in this video i am painting studies of botanical slash tropical leaves so things you can do when you're bored. Well, first thing on my list is to get creative, paint, animate, draw, sculpt, build, anything you want. Maybe there is something you've been meaning to practice more. I know for me that I want to eventually get better at my urban landscapes and portraits, so maybe there's something you want to learn how to paint better. Maybe you've always tried traditional art supplies but never ventured out with digital art, maybe filming, photography. The possibilities are endless and the best part is that it takes a long time, which is perfect when you're bored. So this is the time to create something for yourself without judgement, so what are you waiting for? So, next is spending some time to boost your health. Maybe it's a skin routine that you want to nail. Maybe it's exercising so you feel less guilty about that 5 hours Netflix session. Okay, maybe not, but at least something to get your body moving. It could be stretches or walking while you're watching those videos, going up and down the stairs, taking vitamin C to give your immune system a little help, eating more kiwis and oranges, finding something that works for you but also keeping you healthy. Third thing is chores. Okay, I know most of us don't like chores, but in the end of the day, we all have to do it. And especially now that we're all at home, there's even more to do. What helps me is to put some music on and once you get into it, getting lost in the music, chores can actually be very satisfying and therapeutic. So try it out. Next is cooking. Food, food, food. Food makes things go a little bit more smoothly, so why not try new recipes or a recipe if you're a newbie? Cheer your quarantine buds by making a favourite dessert or a snack or breakfast, whatever you like. Cooking with people can be very fun and in the end of the day, you get to eat. It's a win-win. Fifth on the list is playing an instrument. Maybe you have an instrument that you sort of but don't really know how to play. Well, now you've got the time to learn. You can try playing simple chords and then working on playing your favourite songs. If you're a pro and you've been playing for a while, maybe it's a more challenging piece you want to try. Maybe you know how to play one instrument but you want to try a new one. One of the things I like about playing an instrument is that it's like painting. It requires a level of concentration, so it can take your mind off something that you need a break from. Or on the flip side, it's a great way to express yourself as corny as it sounds, but sometimes you need something to metaphorically use to vent. Releasing any unhealthy amounts of pent up emotion and just letting it go. And that nicely leads us to the sixth, and that is karaoke. Okay, you may not be a Beyonce, but that is okay. Singing with your friends, your family, if not, and you like singing by yourself, sing in your bathroom, the garden, when you're doing the chores, sing happy songs, sad songs, whatever you want. It's a great way to feel free or acknowledge your feelings, whatever you need. If you don't want to play an instrument, then use your voice, but of course, in consideration of your quarantine buds. The seventh thing is games. Card games, board games, digital games, playing with your friends and family is a great way to include everyone, kill time and just have fun. Maybe digital games to have a wider variety or to challenge friends online. On that note of friends and family, the eighth thing to do when you're bored is to check up on people, see how they are. During this time, everyone will be needing support and encouragement and we're all feeling similarly in this situation. But we can all get through it together. So call, text, Skype, Zoom, DM your friends and family. Some of us have family in other countries, so the ninth thing is learning a language. Maybe you have relatives and you don't know how to speak their language as well as you'd like. Perhaps put some time into learning. 
Maybe there's a place you'd like to visit, perhaps learning that country's language. Maybe you're into K dramas and you want to learn the language so you don't have to rely on English subtitles. I've started learning, not for that reason, but if you want to learn Korean in particular, Talk to Me in Korean is incredibly helpful and I would definitely recommend. Okay, so during this time, it can definitely make us lose our peace. So maybe if you're a person of faith or not, this is a time to dedicate a part of your day to prayer, singing worship songs, studying your holy book, or meditation. For me, I have found Joyce Meyer's study books on Ephesians and James very helpful in knowing the foundations of Christianity, if you're a Christian like me. She has now got Galatians and Colossians, which will definitely be on my summer list of things I want to do. This may be a good time to spend some time with yourself to meditate on what you are grateful for to focus on the positives of the situation. So the 11th thing is if you have a goal or a dream that keeps you going and hopeful for the future then you can set some short and long term goals, steps you need to do in order to achieve that goal. What are your priorities? Can you start working on it now? Is there more research you need to do? Whatever it is, you can spend time on something positive and productive. The twelfth thing is to read or write or both. If you're lazy to read, then audiobooks. I'm told that Audible is great, so maybe give that a try. Perhaps you want to write a journal. Maybe you like to write poems and songs. The instrument thing would definitely help with this. Maybe it's listening to sermons. This definitely helped me and when I was lazy to read study books, so just find things that suit you, that keep you busy but happy. And that concludes this video. I hope that this gave you at least a little inspiration to do something during this period of being at home. And don't forget to like and subscribe. It would really mean a lot to me and be helping me out. And as always, God bless and I'll see you later.